Many of you have been asking questions about living and traveling full-time as a family. In this series, we'll answer some of those questions. Hey everybody, I'm Garrett and I'm Carolyn and we're Diary of a Family and we're living life intentionally with you. Today we will be answering commonly asked questions about educating your kids on the road. Most everyone has heard of homeschooling, but not everyone has heard of road schooling. There are differences. We tend to use homeschooling and road schooling synonymously, but they are not actually the same. Homeschooling is generally teaching from home with or without a state or a federal program. You use textbooks or an online program. There are some local field trips and co-ops, also 4-H like Carolyn did. I did Boy Scouts. Lots of extracurricular things. Garrett and I are both products of homeschooling. Road schooling is different than homeschooling in that it's not limited to a home. It is with or without a state or federal program. You can use textbooks and online programs. The caveat is you're learning as you're traveling and experiencing other places. So you can add in national and local programs such as the Junior Ranger program with the national parks. Every location becomes a classroom. When we visit national parks, for instance, we go right to their Junior Ranger program. This provides a wealth of information for our kids and they learn hands-on in that location. It helps them to absorb the information and then be able to remember it in the future. We've experienced the Grand Canyon, the bayous of Louisiana, the Arizona desert. We've gone to the Sierra Nevada mountains. We have been so many locations and they have learned as we have traveled. Our style of road schooling is mainly using curriculum books. We have chosen several different curriculums. Some of the programs that we use are Science Shepherd, Math for a Living Education. We are starting to use the Good and the Beautiful curriculum and we have ended up purchasing workbooks at Costco and just having them work through that. For the state of Texas where we live, it's actually pretty simple to homeschool our kids. So we like our kids to be able to read it from the book, write it out, demonstrate that they understand the information. We're not sticklers to uh, five days a week of schooling. We will drop it all and head to a national park for an entire day, and that's okay with us. That's the part of learning on the road. Being able to look up the state that we're in and learn about the animals that live there and the culture that is there, it's really fascinating to see how they learn. We've eaten mud bugs <laughs> in Louisiana. It's delicious! We tried crocodile in Texas. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I was in Texas. We're going to let our friends, the Stevens, from Nursing Our Travel Bug, share with you how they do their homeschooling online. Hey there, I'm Natasha. And I'm Bill. And we're Nursing Our Travel Bug. And today we wanted to share with you the homeschool programs we're using to teach our two children. What we're using right now is a online program totally free called Easy Peasy. Now they do ask for donations, uh, which we gladly do because really it's a mother who put together this entire program, homeschooled all of her kids, and she puts it all online free. And it's fantastic. The kids love it because it is all self-guided learning. They can go as fast or as slow as they need to. Uh, it teaches the basic core curriculum, of course, and they do allow you to print off worksheets, but if you log on to Amazon, you can get these pretty awesome workbooks, super, super cheap. And it helps keep everything nice and neat and tidy and organized as well. Yep. Uh, a few things that we didn't think uh, were quite up to par was the math program. Uh, so our daughter, who's a little bit older, is using Saxon math here. 
and our son is using Singapore math, which we kind of brought over. We used to do My Father's World. Uh, another thing that we keep doing with our younger son is a spelling power book. Uh, this helps him with his spelling. This was also from a program called My Father's World. Yep. We also supplement foreign language. Our first year we did Rosetta Stone, but that was a little bit more advanced for the kids. Now they just use the app Duolingo on their computers, and it's really fun, and they really picked that up as well. And then uh, for music, the kids both play piano, so we do virtual piano lessons. And of course, because we travel, the children are constantly learning about different places and different cultures of the different places we go, especially if we stop at state parks or national parks. The Junior Ranger program is a fantastic learning tool for the kiddos. So that is what we are doing to educate our kids, shape the minds of the future generation. There is a third way of educating your kids on the road, which is called unschooling. Unschooling? Yeah, it sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? We have some acquaintances, the Minehoppers. Their channel can be found on YouTube at Exploring the Local Life. Hey Explorers, this is Jessica with Exploring the Local Life. Now some of you have asked, how do we school the children? Well, we do something that's a road schooling, unschooling combo. And today we're gonna take you on one of our unschooling trips. We are going to take an off hike hike. <laughs> so this is the campground we are host, campground host. Find Jessica's video on their day unschooling in the description below to explore this concept of not using books to teach your children. This is our huge mega tip for this video. That is check out Homeschool Legal Defense Association or HSLDA. Whether you choose books or online or your own personal combination, you need to be aware of your state's regulations and stay in compliance. We highly suggest you go and visit hslda.org right now and see what requirements your state has. They have a really cool locator that you can just click on that state and find out an overview of the requirements for where you live. HSLDA assists with complying with your regulations as well as providing resources for high schoolers and special needs students. They will also represent you legally if necessary. They know the laws and they will help keep those states and school districts from infringing on your rights. There is a membership fee. You can choose the annual option or go for the lifetime membership. Check out our playlist for full-time RV living for the newbie. Link will be at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, live, live life, life intentionally. intentionally. Bye, y'all.